So being that the whole brand that I created for this channel is adapting creativity, that is one of the best things about YouTube and the beauty of YouTube is that you can be creative on this platform. This is where you uh, bring your ideas to life and match them with the desires of what your audience wants. But in that process of doing that, it is an amazing journey of finding what works for you, finding what you want to be seen as. That's very important as a perspective, I think. And that is where like things like my uh, kind of gradient d design for this YouTube channel comes. And that is why it's not the same for the vlogs that I used to make. Um, that wouldn't really work for the YouTube videos that I'm making now because it's totally different content. And that is what I want to encourage you guys to do. Um, like using my last video for example, when I talk about the kids that I met at the park, I could have been mistaken. Maybe they were inspired by seeing my camera. Maybe they assumed, <coughs> Maybe they assumed that I was a YouTuber. Jesus. <coughs> and went up to me because they are inspired by another YouTuber. Maybe they do gaming videos or makeup videos or lifestyle videos or design videos. And they were like, hey, we should be this guy. Maybe he does something similar. But if you are inspired by somebody, that is something that you can take into consideration. Look at how they have their branding or their, their presentation of content. Every niche has a different kind of style that they go with that kind of matches the whole environment of of the people that make those videos. Like most of the time, their design of their branding and things like that when you're initially clicking on their channel or video, it's in theme with what you're gonna watch. Like for example, the vlogs that I used to make, um, I was able to make these kinds of thumbnails that showed just like snapshots of exciting moments or something within the vlogs. I can't do that now because of this kind of format. It's a different kind of filmmaking style, different approach to creativity, different ideas, different titles, everything. And the second thing besides like the branding and layout design of your YouTube channel and thumbnails and things like that is the way that you edit your videos or the angles that you use or the kinds of like this kinds of format that you use. I myself have been a victim of my own bad editing to where I put just way too much in a video or like I edit the, the music or like makes it in a really bad way. And you can look as cool as Trampino. As you guys saw, it was raining pretty hard out this morning and the sun is finally starting to poke through and it should even more in an hour or so. So until then, we're gonna do a Q and A. This kind of format works for these kinds of videos because of the topics that I use, the editing that I use, and the storytelling that I use. But it would not work for the vlogs that I used to make. That doesn't mean that the vlog style filmmaking is bad, and that doesn't mean that this kind of filmmaking is bad. They are both good in their own way, they're just used properly for different scenarios. So that is what I want you guys to kind of think about overall, um, kind of develop this kind of structure with all of these aspects in it, and that is a pretty good approach to the way that you should be branding your stuff. That way it looks presentable and people want to stay when they find your videos. Like I wasn't thinking about it when I made this kind of design for my YouTube channel, but it's a tie-dye theme. So like the colors are like forever changing basically. And that gives me room to be forever changing on my channel and it just kind of works. All right, you guys, well, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how I have approached this at least. And that is how I think you should be able to develop a pretty good looking structure. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and if you guys have used this kind of method before. Um, I think it's pretty good because it puts you to be, um, it sets you up in a good and efficient direction to grow from there. And with that being said, that is the end of this video. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays other than that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.